key scores are back. And you're probably wondering, what exactly do they mean? First of all, no stress. When they come back, it's basically just giving you a benchmark of where you were scoring back in October. Since October, hopefully you've been doing preparation and learning vocabulary. It's now December, so you've probably improved since then. When we take a look at when you're actually going to take the test, January, March, May, June, it's still months away. So really what you're looking at is just, hey, how was I doing two months ago? When we think about how those PSAT scores are going to kind of impact our overall impression of where to go from here, they can provide some really helpful advice. For instance, if your reading score is kind of low and you can see that you've missed a bunch of questions on vocabulary, guess what? You speak English. It's useful to know more vocabulary. Study more vocabulary. In the math section, if the score is lower than you think and you're taking a look at the questions that you've missed, it might be that you missed some early questions. The math questions on the SAT and the PSAT go on increasing difficulty. So the easier questions are the questions that come earlier in the section. If you miss number two, that's probably because of some careless mistake. And you might need to use the great A-list technique, RTFQ, which stands for read the question. So make sure that when you're going back through the test, you're drawing the lessons that you've been working on with your tutor, or over the time that you've spent preparing in some fashion over the last couple of months. Or say to yourself, wow, I missed a lot of these questions. What am I going to do now? I've got to try and actually kind of kick it up a gear as I go forward. Finally, in the writing section, when you're taking a look at that score, remember most students don't have a good background when it comes to English grammar. Teachers don't like to teach it. Students don't like to learn it. So we all kind of pretend that it just doesn't exist. That obviously is not going to work. So you might wind up missing more questions on the writing section when you first take the PSAT than you will when you take the real SAT later on and learn all the different rules of grammar the SAT is testing on subject, verb agreement, pronoun agreement, parallelism. In short, the PSAT scores are back. But when you take a, look them, take a look at them, they're really something that should be used more as a general guide to how you were scoring in the fall of your junior year than exactly what you're going to get when you finish and take the SAT in the spring of your junior year.